In this video, we're gonna be factoring the difference of squares. First off, what is a square? Well, yes, but in this case, we mean any number that is the square of a different number. For example, two squared is four, four is a square. Five squared, 25, 25 is a square. Seven a squared, seven a times seven a, 49 a squared. Here is another square. Difference of squares, difference of squares. Here's how to factor difference of squares. Whenever you have something of this form, a squared minus b squared, that's the subtraction of two different squares, we can factor this as a minus b times a plus b. And just to show you it works, we're gonna distribute all of this out. That'll give us a squared plus a b minus b times a minus a b minus b squared. And we can see that these a, b's cancel each other out, leaving us with just a squared minus b squared. And because that happens, that leaves us with this factoring rule. a squared minus b squared is gonna factor to a minus b times a plus b. The main trick to this is identifying what your squares are. From there, it's pretty simple. So let's do some examples, and I think you're gonna get the hang of it. Here we've got x squared minus four, and this is actually the same as x squared minus two squared. I could see that four is a square and the square of two. Now that I know what my two squares are, I can write my answer x minus two, x plus two. Let's try y squared minus 100. That's gonna be the same as y squared minus 10 squared. And our factored answer is y minus 10 times y plus 10. Ooh, how about this one here? 25a squared minus one. All right, a little more complicated, but we got this. First, let's break this first part up. 25, we know is five squared, and then we've also got the a. So I'm gonna change this 25a squared to five a squared. That's five a times five a, 25a squared. Perfect. Now that's gonna be minus, what about this one? Well, one can seem tricky, but it's really not. One squared is just one. So that's gonna be five a squared minus one squared. From there, we have five a minus one, times five a plus one and we're factored. Hmm, okay, let's think about this one for a second. We've got m to the sixth minus n to the 10th. Okay, well, let's think of what number squared gives us m to the sixth. That's gonna be what number squared gives us n to the sixth. Well, we know we've, we need an m in here and we know our exponent rule, these are gonna multiply. So what if I put a three here as an m cubed. m cubed squared is m to the six. So, all right, perfect. Let's try doing the same thing with this n. First, we know we have an n and we know we want to break it into something squared. So what exponent here when squared will give us 10? Well, that's gonna be five. All right, not too bad. Now that we have our squares, m cubed and n to the fifth, we can factor just like before, m cubed minus n to the fifth times m cubed plus n to the fifth. And we factored it. All right, last one, x squared y to the fourth minus nine. Boom. 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 Boom, I think that says it all. Factoring the difference of squares is a lot like the other factoring techniques in that as you get the hang of it, it goes really, really quickly. So practice, 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 and let me know if you have any questions.